What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Get this. Deontay Wilder primed for the vacant WBC heavyweight title shot. Deontay Wilder is on red alert for the shot at the vacant WBC heavyweight title after camp champion Tyson Fury retired again. After losing his two previous attempts against Fury, Wilder remains number one in the WBC rankings for August. Deontay Wilder is first in line. This scenario means that the, the Bronze Bomber will get the first refusal for an opportunity once the World Boxing Council reacts to Tyson Fury's decision. Wilder failed to dethrone the current ruler, Tyson Fury, in February of 2020, then again in October of 2021. He got halted in the 11th round, as we know. Despite those two defeats, Wilder remained in favor with the WBC rankings committee. Due to the ruling for five years, Wilder is also the top contender for the WBC president, Mauricio Suleiman. The situation gathers pace due to a recent roadblock between Fury and Derek Chisora. The Gypsy King wanted a trilogy that didn't go down well with the fans. On his 34th birthday, Fury once again got out of the sport of boxing. As the result, the WBC and the lineal titles will become vacant. The vacant WBC title due to his position as the top ranked hot heavyweight with the WBC, Wilder will get offered the chance to contest the green and gold belt. Whether that could be against prospect opponent Robert Hellenius is another story. Hellenius is ranked number nine and can earn a voluntary shot at the present but if the WBC moved to sanction Wilder versus Hellenius, they would face opposition from the other seven contenders rated from The Fiend. Frank Sanchez of the winners of Joyce versus Joseph Parker or Andy Ruiz versus Luis Ortiz should get contracted before Hellenius. However, knowing Suleiman, he would want Wilder to get the shot at the title as soon as as possible. Let me counterpunch. I agree. I agree that Mauricio will pick either Deontay Wilder, and we also know that Andy Ruiz is up for that. That's if he can beat his next opponent, which is Luis Ortiz. Okay, so I think what Mauricio is doing on the WBC end, he's putting all his fighters in a row, and he's seeing which one um, is worthy in his eyes due to his pockets and wallet, okay? I think Deontay should be first based on the type of fight we saw. And Andy Ruiz, according to his uh, records, should be second. But I said his records, not mine. How it should go, um, Wilder should be uh, at least number four or five. Andy Ruiz could be number five or six. You know, but any, at any circumstance, whoever's number one, that should be either uh, Joseph Parker, I mean, sorry, Joe Joyce, or Frank Sanchez should fight for that belt. That's how it should go. But this is the this is the sport that I love that I hate so much because we have things like this that go down in the sport of boxing. Now, I know why Mauricio did it. It's because of money. I'm not going to cry about it, but we have to talk about it. We have to get it out there and understand why these type of unfair changes are happening due to the WBC ranking committee, okay? And honestly, you know, we've seen Wilder fight for that belt twice. He's, he tried to defend it and lost. He tried to get it back and lost. So having two losses back-to-back -back in the same sanctioned body should not put you at number one. I mean, anyone with any decent sense knows that. But since it's Wilder and Wilder brings fire and fire brings money and money brings everything else that the WBC wants, that's what they're going to strive for. OK, so that's why I think Mauricio now is saying, you know what, we're going to we're going to put Wilder there because he was all we had him ranked number one anyway, some strange way or, or, or reason. So we're going to use him first. So it's all up to Wilder. It's good to know that you were once a champ and good to know that you can fight for the belt again your next time out. So basically what this means from 2020, 2021, and 2022, Deontay Wilder could be fighting after two losses back to back for the same belt that he lost. He could be fighting three times in the same, for the same belt.
that he once had. Astonishing, amazing. It's good to be Deontay Wilder, I can tell you. But if I was these other fighters, I would be heavenly pissed because I know what it took to get there or did it really or were they just appointed there? So that's a totally different issue. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder in first line to fight for the WBC belt. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.